That's Matt Williams drinking water. This is the video of my indoor soccer team playing for a championship at Nations Tobin. March 10th, 2013. This is our third attempt at a championship after losing our first try in a double overtime shootout. Our second championship game we played ended up in a brawl and was canceled even though we were winning 6-2. This game was beyond intense. It went back and forth until we finally ended in a tie. Two overtimes later and still no score. What you'll see next is the shootout that determines who goes home with the trophy and the cheerleader and who goes home with the sad face. We won the coin toss and decided to have the first crack at it. At the line is Matt Ambrose, a longtime player with the team and a phenomenal talent. Matt can strike with his left foot or right foot. She never quite know which direction the ball is going to go. Only kicks here at Tobin are about 10 feet from the keeper and the shooter. Pretty much a guessing game. Usually your best shooters go first. So as I get set and goal, I judge the player in front of me. If he's right footed and lines up to the left of the ball, when he kicks it, it's usually going to go left. Being that this is their best shooter, I assume he's trying to outguess me. Since he's lined up to the left of the ball, I think he may be going right because usually the better shooters do that. That goal makes it one to one. Well, that shows you just exactly what I know. It's a guessing game. That ball's pretty fast. This guy right here, he pulled his hamstring, which is kind of a shame because he was pretty good. Him not being able to be in the shootout is definitely a detriment to his team. Right there is Nasser Abraham, probably one of the best players I think I've ever played with. He's played in the Netherlands. He's played all over the States. He's played in college. He's played for Utah. Just a, a great soccer player and always fun to have him around. No chance. That goal puts Nesta up 2-1. to one. After my last mistake, it's obvious. This guy just wants to score a goal. There's no great shooters in this group. So when he lines up to the left, I know to go to the right. I know he's going to go to my right. Got it. That is the best feeling in the world right there. When you feel the ball strike your feet and you know you blocked it and it's going the opposite direction in a championship game and a shootout, yeah, that'll, uh, that'll make you happy. But I want you to look at the goal. When I walk away from the goal, they have to reset it because I smashed into the wall. Man. Okay, if you look at the back glass behind the goal, you'll see that NASA, he's like jumping up on me, getting all excited and stuff like that. And uh, I push him off, you know, I yell at him and say, not yet, not yet. Because, you know, we haven't won yet. Let's win this thing and then we'll get super excited then. But, you know, we've lost this before after I blocked a uh, penalty shot. And so, you know, nothing is permanent until the trophy's in your hand. Trust me. Up next is Chris Kapusik. We played with Chris since I owned the gym out on Donovan and Sunset. The guy is very dependable, played with him forever, you know, all heart. Fantastic player. I believe he's coaching soccer now. If he makes this here, we win the championship. That'll put it three to two. That seals it. Nesta wins. Game, set, match. That's Nesta's first championship in three attempts. Unbelievable feeling. Great shot, Chris. Great job, guys. Everybody. Unbelievable effort. Having the game being tied pretty much the whole game, and then going through the overtime without anybody scoring, and then into a shootout to win a championship. Wow. All I want to do was get back to my team. Senior Baca, they have a great team that's awesome playing against them. They're very, very talented. Great group of guys. They played very fair. They weren't dirty. If we're going to play against a champion caliber team, I'm glad we played against them. It shows how far deep we went into this tournament with them. But uh, yeah, great game. That's Travis Harris. He's played with us since uh, the beginning of NASTA. We pretty much invented a team with him and Josh Nagel. Yeah, very good player. Played a lot of games with that guy. That's the uh, camera girl, Diana Hinojosa. That's Christian Rivera, another long time player. Very, very good player. I think we played with him one time, four on six, and we still won. 
that's Carlos Bersera. JJ Rodriguez, a great defender. A uh, player like him, I can be real comfortable and not worry about bad things happening you knowing he's back there. Many times he's run back from uh, center court to bail me out on a two on one. Nice, see what I mean by not yet. It was a great feeling getting that hardware, holding that championship trophy in your hands. During the game, they'll have it there behind the glass in the middle, so you know exactly what you're playing for. And when uh, the game was over and the other team kind of left the court, and they handed that to me. That, uh, that felt great. Uh, if you notice, I pass off the sign-in sheet. Like, after every game, you're supposed to sign to kind of show that the ref was there, the scorekeeper was there, both teams are there, and that was what the score was. Or if there's any discrepancies, like you signed what you placed. And uh, we had just gotten reinstated by having to go from the Parks and Recs board that I didn't want to touch the thing. These t-shirts we're about to get. Okay, so the trophy's awesome, but only one person can have the trophy. Everybody on the team that won the championship gets a t-shirt. And that is so awesome because you can wear it and kind of it's, it's bragging rights. Uh, to the next game, the next season, we wore our shirts instead of our jerseys. So yeah, that t-shirt, that means a lot. You want to be wearing that t-shirt. Everybody can wear a t-shirt, only one person can have a trophy and you can't wear a trophy. You wear a t-shirt that says you're a champion. went on to win three championships in a row for a total of five in about six seasons. We pretty much were dominant there at Nation Terrapin. It was a great ride, so many great memories. My body forgives me for not playing though, because man, we get shredded. But great guys, great teams to play against, awesome organization, great feeling, unbelievable high. Played against some awesome teams with great players on our team. Nesta really killed it very lucky and very talented players around me. They, uh, they made me look good. We won a game one time with only four players, me and three in front, while the other team had about eight players, so they had subs, so this Nets team was pretty magical. Yep, so I hope you enjoyed this game. It was uh, very exciting for me. I hope it was exciting for you all to watch. So thank you again for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.